Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, thank you for joining me today. We're looking at stable belts today, and if there's one thing that I take huge passion and pride in is regimental heritage and just showcasing who you are, where you're from, what you serve, what you do. And stable belts is one of those small gestures that you can do to showcase who you're a part of, what regiment you're a part of. And stable belts have history behind them. Um, you know, basically for the artillery or many regiments back in the day, in the olden days, uh, we used to be able to clean out stables, right? We had to work with horses extensively, especially in the field artillery. And stable belts obviously helped keep our pants up, but we didn't wear all of our fancier clothing on top. We take it off so we can do the cleaning. But the stable belt would still allow you to showcase where you're from. And I was kindly sent these belts that we're going to look at today by Bespoke Law Leather. These are absolutely beautiful belts. This is the more um, high-end uh, capability that you can get from uh, Bespoke Law Leather and the stable belts that they have available. I'm going to show you another one very shortly. But these are just beautiful with my beautiful artillery colors there being able to, uh, you know, see some regimental pride. And I think it's something we need to get back to. Unfortunately, these are not issued in the Canadian Armed Forces, the Canadian Army. Um, but more and more people are starting to look at buying them. Of course, you do need to get approval from your chain of command. These aren't seen uh, for the most part in garrison because your tunic does cover it. But it's nice that when you're cleaning the guns and things, um, taking your tunic off so it doesn't get covered in oil when we clean the howitzers, things like that, you can wear this and you just have some pride in where you're from. And I think we need to get back to it. It's one thing that I really wish um, we would kind of do more of, particularly uh, that in the artillery. But let's look at some other options that Bespoke Lork Leather uh, provide to us. Sorry about the twerking there. Um, so you can see a different option that's available to you, which I think is just as nice as the one that I'm wearing in front of you here. Okay, so we looked at the more traditional um, stable belt that uh, Bespoke Law Leather provides, but now let's look at another option that they very kindly sent to me for review, which uh, we're going to take a look at right now. I apologize in advance for the cuts on my hands here. I've been doing a little bit too much yard work, but that is what it is. Uh, so let's pop it open and take a look inside and see what we've got. So this is a different version of stable belt that they provide, and I actually really like it. A little bit more simplistic. We'll go over it shortly here um, and go over a little bit more detail, see what else we've got inside this box that they very kindly sent to me. There we go. Bespoke Law Leather. Really, really nice little sticker there. Let's stick that by my little Matsmas tab. We've got <laughs> join or die. I love that. It's like a don't tread on me snake kind of thing, but with stable belt, I think that's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, we got a little note from them that says, Hi Matt, thanks for your support. We sincerely hope you enjoy your order. Please feel free to leave us a Facebook review and send us a picture of your product in action. Well, hopefully this video will tick that box. And there it is again, handcrafted, bespoke law. Uh, regimental steel belts, custom leather goods, and laser cut patches. So they don't just produce, oh, steady there, box, knife hand. Uh, they don't just produce stable belts, they produce all sorts of leather products, but uh, the stable belts certainly are one of the most prominent. Um, and we've got another little tab there, and a really nice little decal. Really like that. So we're going to stick them in some places for sure. Uh, let's get the uh, the box out of the way here and look at the stable belt. So this is, as I said, a lot more of a simplistic design than the one I previously showed you. Uh, this is more of a just a sort of a clasp style. You know, you're going to feed it back through on itself. Um, I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I think this is really nice for those who want to get a stable belt that's a little bit more simplistic. Uh, can we use more of a rigger's belt? Uh, in all honesty, you know, if you want to put some of your gear on here when you're doing some stuff around the stables, parades. Um, of course, in the artillery, we like to clean our guns and make sure they're all in pristine shape because they are the colors of the artillery. So we have flags for different regiments and the artillery, of course, the guns are our colors. So when we clean them, we tend to take you know, our tunics off, keep them um, from getting covered in oil and all sorts of nasty grubbiness that comes from the guns. And that's why we uh, have stable belts because you know, in the time of when we were looking with the horses, etc., towing the guns, uh, we wear a stable belt. So um, I wear mine, uh, you know, when I'm just doing regimental duties, things like that or, uh, you know, just working around the garrison. So this is a really nice option. Um, I really do like these little tabs they put inside of here, showing the brand there, Bespoke Law. So, you know, if you want something a little bit more simplistic, something that you could actually, you know, um, not worry about getting too mucky, if you want to have something that, uh, you know, actually get a little bit more mucky than the other one that I'd shown, this can be kind of your your interim kind of belt, um, which I think is a lot, a lot simpler than having to, you know, play around with all the other little buckles. Um, I personally really do like, though, the sort of standardized, you know, buckle clasp of the, the leather stable belts that I'm used to in the British Army. But um, thanks again, Bespoke Law Leather, for sending me these stable belts. If you guys are interested, you have to go check out their website. Um, veteran-owned, 
Love the fact that stable belts are becoming a thing again. And let's just quickly look at the website for Bespoke Law Leather. As I mentioned, there is lots of different things that you can get from Bespoke Law Leather other than just stable belts. They got leather goods of all different kinds, patches, flags. Um, there's just a lot of different options here. Um, let's have a quick look at the catalog here because it's always nice to see things that are available. As you can see, lots of different regimental and unit based uh, patches and symbolism stickers really really cool but of course as i had mentioned here is the stable belt that i had started off showing you now if you notice they are not actually sold out it says stable belts are not sold out due to the time required to produce the current backlogs we ask that you contact them to place the order so guys if you want an order just reach out to them and they'll be able to work with you they are a smaller group so you have to be patient um i have got to remind you that when you create a product like this Quality is first and foremost, so sometimes it's worth the wait. And for me, I personally love the fact that there's quality and pride that goes into these products, uh, especially it's veteran owned, really, really cool, but lots of different options, right? I mean, look at all the different regiments and, and colors you have, dark, brown, black, um, really, really nice. And just look at that. There's really, really good quality products, really, really nice. And let's just go quickly back to other options that are available. When we look at regimental belts as well, as I had mentioned, there's more the sleek bell version as well. I'm a little bit cheaper there, the 40 Canadian dollars, and a steal for what you're getting. Once again, really emphasizing that regimental pride. Um, and just reach out to them if you're wanting something. There's lots of different options here. Um, their social media, I know on Instagram and Facebook, they're very prominent, so you should go check them out on there as well. Um, really, really nice little patches there for the Patricias. I think that's really cool, either the red or the sort of more tactical subdued green. Very, very nice. And guys, there's lots of options here. So go check out their website and uh, hopefully be able to find something for your needs. Um, I have a huge passion for regimental history and pride, and I think it's something that we can get back to. This is just one small little thing, you know, being a little bit of a, a regimental nerd like I am with the artillery, I'm a little overbearing, I think, sometimes with my love for certain... Uh, military history and, and heritage but this is just a simple gesture that i think is really nice and of course you know you have to go through your chain of command as to whether or not you're allowed to wear these um speaking to my chain of command they love it um and they don't really have a problem so um something to consider you know maybe a mess um you know prize or a mess gift or something like that leaving gift or just something you want to get for yourself to wear and show off some regimental pride for you and your unit so thanks again bespoke raw leather i appreciate you sending me these products and i'll certainly be uh, passing on this video and this product to others around me in both the regiment and other regiments too thanks again folks for joining me and i hope you have a wonderful day all the best bye bye